It isn't the most comfortable. I don't know how sous vide managed it. In Victorian times, it was the height of our uh, idea of innovation. That actual exhibition of 1851 really stimulated a whole mass of thinking. And of course, people wanted to make money. And they thought if they invented something new and different, they would be able to uh, glean the riches from that. In many instances, and certainly those in my collection, they never did because the item failed and they didn't sell. Could be all sorts of reasons. The fact the idea may not be any good, or conversely, people didn't read very much of that period, and how do you sell it and advertise it? Uh, well, I started collecting in uh, about 35 years ago uh, when, in fact, um, my son and I were down a Victorian rubbish dump and we came out with two bottles, one with a cod's bottle with a marble in the head and the other with a pointed bottom. And I was very intrigued and I researched the patent of those two uh, incredible containers. Well, if I could show you, first of all, um, the self-pouring teapot from 1886. Uh, this was invented by a man in Manchester called Mr. Royal, and it's a very simple mechanism. You pick it up like that, place your finger over the top, and out comes your lovely cup of tea. A very English invention, and works very well. Not only does it pour it without having to pick up the pot, but it forces the water through the tea leaves to make it even a better brew. If I could just explain another item here. This is a, um, a clockwork burglar alarm. This is again from the late Victorian period. What you would do is you would wind it up, you would place it into the uh, floor uh, with a top against the door, somebody comes in and off goes the alarm. You'll know when you're being uh, in <laughs> invested with burglars as you go along. This is quite an interesting item. This was the equivalent of the sat-nav of the 1920s. It was uh, painted in 1926. And what would happen is, is for each, each time you wanted to go on a certain journey, let's assume you were going from London to Portsmouth, you would put the scroll inside your little watch. And as you went along, you would just turn it very carefully and it would take you all the way down and when you actually reached the place that you wanted, which is Portsmouth in this instance, it says stop, So, which is uh, quite an amazing thing. And you have all the countries, uh, all the routes in the country inside this watch, just like the sat-nav, but without the voice. The exhibition is in the British Library because we have in the library a, um, an intellectual property and business department called the Business and IP Centre where new inventors, new British inventors can come along and get a tremendous resource and support service, even one-to-one -one help on developing their patents, developing their ideas and helping in the whole aspect of marketing. And this is an ideal place to put inventions, British inventions from the past. Thank you.